Hello guys, welcome to the show tonight. Tonight, uh, I just got done doing a, quite a little bit of research on the internet, you know, and I come across something that uh, that's new, new new idea that I had, you know, get this little rally that we've had, this might be leading up to a much, much bigger rally, and, 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 and very soon, and let me explain to you guys why. First off, let's get the chart started right here, and let's take a look at the Bitcoin price right now. I'm going to refresh the chart. It's at 78.81. You know, showing amazing strength is over $8,000 today. <clears throat> let's take a look. 79.17. Just refresh the chart. Man, is it ever going strong. Take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations. 230.2 billion. Let me refresh the charts. Going so fast. $231 trillion after I refresh the chart. And I mean, I just refreshed that chart two minutes ago. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is 60.5%. Uh, most of the, all the coins are actually moving up, albeit Bitcoin's moving up the, one of the, as one of the fastest. Uh, Litecoin's at uh, 88.45. Uh, Bitcoin Cash at 389 dollars. XRP is at 32 cents. Ethereum's at 198 dollars and 31 cents, and so on. Now here's the thing: we got this huge Bitcoin surge. Everybody's starting to get excited about Bitcoin, but I want to explain to you that there's a possibility. I'm going to give it about a uh, maybe a 30 to 40 percent chance of happening what I'm going to explain to you right now you all know that there's a trade war going on with China right now uh, the two are backing hardline positions Donald Trump and Xi Jinping of China both they got they're taking a hard line China says okay we're not backing down you know, and the United States says, okay, we're going to impose more tariffs. China then says, okay, well, you impose tariffs on us, we're going to impose a tariff back on you. And, I mean, this has now become a full-blown trade war at this point in time. This trade war has astounding implications for Bitcoin. And I'm going to explain to you why, uh, or how it could there, and I think there's about a 40% chance that this could actually happen. Okay, right now. I'm giving it a 40%. But if this happens, Bitcoin could actually quite literally explode in price. I mean, this move to 8000 would be nothing. We could see a sudden quick move up to like forty or $50,000 quite seriously if this actually comes to pass and this what I'm going to talk about now actually happens okay now you know that over the last number of weeks and months even they've been the world's been running very heavily into US Treasury bonds because they're deemed as a safe haven asset okay tremendous money's been pouring in it's drive the bond yields down extremely low right now. Extremely low. And this tremendous pool of money that's poured in. Because they're looking for some place safe right now. Everybody's scared. That's why Bitcoin is starting to surge upwards. Is it's just starting to be seen as a safe haven asset. During the last rally up to $20,000, it was considered to be not a safe haven asset it was considered to be a speculative investment bitcoin is very rapidly right now while we speak changing from a a uh, from a speculative investment into a safe haven asset and what's making this happen what's forcing this change and forcing it much faster than it would normally take place is the fact that the world is desperate right now for some place to put their money as money pours in to bitcoin the more and more money pours in the more she goes up on the charts the more she's seen as a safe haven a place for money to go people see and people get greedy over the amount of people that poured money into it say a week ago you know 
and new money starts to pour in, chasing the money that just poured in. And it's a self-feeding, self-perpetuating cycle. But it could get a lot worse. It could get a lot worse real soon, and I'm going to explain to you why. Let's just read a little bit of this article. It says, Bitcoin surge continues as retailers move to accept cryptos. Investors seek out safe haven assets. You know, those words, just a matter of a year ago, you would not have seen those words in, in a news article. Investors seeking safe haven and them speaking in terms of Bitcoin as a safe haven asset. That, that wouldn't happen during the last, last rally. It'd be laughed at, at Bit, talking about Bitcoin as a safe haven asset. But Bitcoin is making this transition so fast. While we speak, Bitcoin is making the transition over from a speculative investment to a safe haven asset. And the world is suddenly going to start investors because this is a time in the financial system right now when investors are scared. They're really scared and they're looking for safe havens. Investors are going to start to notice cryptocurrencies. They're not shaking their head and guffawing and laughing at cryptocurrency anymore like they used to. There was all about the tulip mania talk during the last Bitcoin's rise and all about it being a speculative investment and all about how unstable it is in world markets and all this stuff. Bitcoin now suddenly is being talked about more differently. It's a different, there's a change in the air and it's happening really fast. They're starting to see Bitcoin as a safe place. Okay, we got that going on. Now what if, I'm going to get to the meat of the story now. The real important part, the part you guys been waiting for. China in the trade war. What if the next move of America is to tariff all Chinese goods? China holds a weapon if they target all Chinese goods. China holds a weapon. And that weapon is $1.1 trillion worth of U.S. Treasury bonds. I think it's $1.13 trillion. Not billion, trillion dollars worth of U.S. Treasury bonds. If America targets all Chinese goods, there's a strong possibility that the Chinese will start to dump those U.S. Treasury bonds and start to cash them in. Okay? That's going to cause Treasury yields from where they are really low right now. You have to realize those investors poured money into these treasury yields, these low prices, these low yields, I should say, right? It was actually high prices for treasuries because it works on an inverse relationship. But they bought all these treasuries and these low yields. Suddenly, China comes in and dumps a bunch of treasuries and the yields go boom up. I'll tell you what that means. It means the people that bought in at these low treasury yield prices, say the yield's 2.5% and they bought in, suddenly the yield goes up to 6%. It means that person that bought in at 25 is going to get his fingers burnt, but bad. He's going to get burnt. Burnt. Investors hate to get burned. If something burns them, and burns them bad. Suddenly they don't see that as a safe haven asset anymore. It's like, oh, it's not safe haven anymore. Okay? They just got burned. So now they start to look for other safe haven assets. And then they say, oh, didn't you know Bitcoin was $4,000 a month or two ago. And now it's 8000 Ah, that might look better than U.S. Treasury bonds all of a sudden. Because investors don't care. They just want to see the bottom line. They want to, where's the money? Show me the money. That's what investors want. Show me the money. And they want it fast. And they're all willing. They're open-minded. They're all willing to hop from one hot commodity to another. They're all willing to hop on board. 
hop on board that train and ride it. Okay, so here we got a whole bunch of investors getting burned in U.S. Treasuries. And we got everybody is searching for a place to put their money. Now, at the same time, they dump all of these Treasuries on the market. They spike these yields up to perhaps from 2.5% to 6% overnight because the Chinese just dumped a whole bunch of Treasuries on the market, right? And so they've busted these Treasury traders. They've just basically slapped them in the face and got their fingers burnt. So they'll be looking for a new home for their money. It's going to drive them out of these treasuries. They just got burned, right? So we got those guys going on that, that just got hurt really bad. And now they're looking for new investments, to new safe havens. At the same time, the Chinese, because they just sold a whole bunch of these treasury bonds... Now they've cashed them in. They got handfuls of cash. Buckets of cash. What to do with it all? Of course, you're not going to sit on the cash because now with dumping the treasuries is going to make the dollar fall. So you're not going to sit on that cash. Got to reinvest it. So what's out there? Well, treasuries just got burned. We don't, we're not going to buy the treasuries we just sold. That's to China. we got to invest in something else. Hmm. What can we invest in? Well, let's see. There's gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Those are the only places. You don't want to go into the dollar. And you don't want to go into treasuries anymore. Okay? And you don't want to go into the stock market because it's falling. Okay? Where are you going to go with huge amounts of money? Well, there's physical gold and silver. They don't, they don't they're Chinese. They wouldn't probably want to buy the paper. Maybe they would, but I think probably they'd want physical. How much physical is out there? Because we're talking $1.1 trillion here. Okay? Into the, and so some of it will probably spill over because Chinese love gold. So probably some of it will spill over into the gold market. You know? And where will the rest go? Well, they just, they're just going to take one look at Bitcoin. And they're going to say, hey, you know what? Didn't that just rise from $4,000 to $8,000? Isn't it going up like $50 every 10 minutes? I'm telling you, guys, it could happen. It could happen so fast that this trade war heats up a little bit more and the United States imposes tariffs on all Chinese-made goods. Chinese will have to respond and they could very well sell treasury bonds. And if they sell treasury bonds, it could bring an enormous amount of new fresh money into the cryptocurrency space and gold and silver. Listen, thank you guys for listening to this report. And we'll catch you guys again very, very soon.